today is the session 4 of fusion expression series and today i'm going to show you how to do auto orientation in fusion basically see here i have uh, one example where i animate this car okay, so normally we uh, don't prefer this kind of animation we prefer that a car rotated along my path basically that path uh, this rotation belongs to the uh, angle of uh, the tangent of this particular point so this facility available in fusion but for our example i am using differentiation so my concept is that i'll show you how to use differentiation in fusion through this auto orientation example after this uh, differentiation i'll show you how to use the auto orientation uh, using this uh, some default setting of fusion so concept of differentiation here i have one ppt so first look out uh, what is differentiation so for example here is my coordinate system of my canvas okay this is not animation coordinate system and this is my path of animation so this is at time zero and for example this is at time 100 and i want to uh, consider this point as my reference point and what I want is the angle of this tangent okay so to find this angle of tangent we need to study uh, the differentiation so what is differentiation so differentiation is differentiation is the action of computing derivatives so what is derivative the derivative is the slope of the graph at each point so here uh, we study one concept the simplest concept of uh, differentiation or slope is that we use linear function okay so uh, if my y is equal to fx and this m is my slope then m is equal to change in y divided by change in x what uh, we call this as delta y upon delta x or dy by dx okay so uh, this is for linear function but the problem is that we have curved shape okay so to find the angle of this tangent uh, through this simple concept that linear function what we consider that smallest part or uh, some small part of my arc so like this okay so this similar or equal to linear form so here we consider for example i want to find the tangent of uh, at this particular time so we reference at time minus or current time minus 0.5 and current time plus 0.5 so this is nearly equal to linear so with that we find a slope and that is y at t plus 0.5 minus y at t minus 0.5 divided by x at t plus 0.5 minus x at t minus 0.5 so we get easily a slope okay and the simple function is that m that is slope is equal to tan theta the theta is angle of our tangent so simple theta is equal to arc tan m so we need to implement these things in fusion through expression so let's move into fusion again so here i have this animation and i intentionally create this circular path so we can easily identify if there is some error or not or my uh, expression or my logic properly work or not so here we have to create some controllers so first on this same page so first i create dy then i create one more that is dx one more thing and that is m on same page and one more 
user control and that is angle of tan tangent okay so for dy and here we learn some new things and that is how we get value from specific time okay so for i want to call the attribute from same controllers so here i need to write self for example if i want to call some uh, value from another node for example merge one so here i need to write merge one so here i get write self colon get value bracket call center comma time plus 0.5 so it's call the value at time plus 0.5 okay then minus self column get value bracket center and here uh, this one I forget that you have to because the center is two dimensional um, array so we have to define which value we want so here dot y and here I write time minus 0 0.5 dot capital Y so here I got dy I copy the same thing I just right click here in DX add expression I paste these things over here and I just change Y to X so here I got dy and DX so we can easily get our slope that is M that is dy divided by dx so now we need to find the angle of tangent so here I add expression and for that mat dot arc 10 and this m and this results the angle in radian form so we have to convert that thing into degree so for that I write my dot degree bracket over and in my main angle I create one expression and I call this angle of tangent so now see you can easily get this auto orientation but see here we get some problem it rotate its value so right now my car move forward and suddenly it reverse the thing right now see uh, the value of dx focus on this in this particular area the value is positive of dx and suddenly it get negative and this things is happen so for that we design one logic the solution for these things uh, because 10 functionals basically in this manner so here I create one logic so if dx is greater than 0 then this thing is happen else the same thing control C control V plus one eighty degree so that's how we solve this problem 
now we need more control on this rotation because if I want to uh, do some uh, animation or maybe do some initial rotation uh, I want to change these things so for that here I create one more controller and that is for example my angle and here I create angular control and maximum range is 360 okay and here I just add this value my angle so we can easily animate these things for example I animate these things and here I animate 180 degree so now this kind of animation we can easily create through this okay now I just change my path like this or like this it automatically orient my contain according to my path so I just remove these things, I put set these things over here and now you see so that's how acceleration help a lot for this kind of animation so this example show you how to use differentiation using expression in fusion so there is another way and it is a little easy then the use of differentiation for auto orientation so fusion has some facility to do auto orientation but i use some expression over there because this is the session for expression so here i create two more controllers and that is one is auto orient on same page Okay. create one more and that is my angle on same page now here in auto orientation I just right click connect to path 1 that is my switching interpolation of that animation and here I just connect with heading now just you have to do right click on angle add expression I just call this auto orientation plus my angle now you see now my angle helps you the same thing that we did in expression and here for example I use 180 degree like this okay so uh, I use differentiation for auto orientation so that is not that the differentiation is only used for auto orientation I just give an example so you can use differentiation or uh, this kind of expression or logic to solve your problem so hope you like this tutorial see you soon with session 5